Hey guys, it's Robert Tierstra or Monger, a uh, developer on Flights Mod. Today I'll be showing you how to create models and export them into Eclipse. I'll be also showing you how to set up Eclipse, and from there on we'll show you how to do configurations and actually putting these models into game. So the first step to making your own models is of course getting the model program. It is called Toolbox 2.0. I have provided a link in the description and where to download is. Trust me, it is safe. And this is what I've been using for all my models. So what you're first going to do is you're going to open up Toolbox. And it will usually ask if you can purchase a license. You can do so if you want to or just ignore it. It just uh, limits the amount of parts you can make. And you can see this is the interface you're going to be greeted with. It says planes on the bottom, but you're actually able to change what uh, format you want to use. So what you do is you go to the model tab and type in model settings or alternatively you can go right here. From here you'll see tons of dialog settings and display settings, uh, one called Steve modeling helper and OBJ model display and model information. What you're going to do under the model settings tab is you're going to choose the name of your model. So let's just call this model test gun. Usually copy it and paste it into the exact same one as the class file. You can also change the texture size here and here. Make sure to use these ones because if they're not 512 or 32 or 64 or anything, it's, it won't work. HD texture, this will allow you to do HD textures uh, usually used for gun skinning or making things more you know, detailed. And here you'll see the model type. You can see that there's a lot of uh, you know, names you can choose from being plane, vehicle, mecha, gun, deployable gun, AA gun, armor, Vehicle gun, generic gun, drum model, this is the one you can use anything on like any type of a mod, and block. But we're going to go with gun today, and we can actually choose a version of Minecraft, but we're going to stay at 1.7.10 because that's the most stable version of uh, Flans mod. And you can also change the model scale, which is only used when you make a really big, big gun, but other than that, you won't really need it. You can also change the pass path for the um, package and the model path. Well, these are actually for another package that I use, but... You can change it to whatever you want to call the package eventually when you make it. All right, so first we have uh, our, now we change this from planes to guns. We can also uh, actually put Steve in here also for a uh, reference. Click the Steve tab, and you can click Show Steve, which will appear him, but he's floating. And you click Shooting Steve, and now he's actually, you know, looks like he'd be in game shooting a gun. So what we first start off with is we can use these icons on the, under the, size of position tab. There's add new box, add new shape, edit selected part, clone selected part, texture builder, texture painter, and delete selected part. You can also just use a delete key for that one. So we're going to click on the add new box and as soon as you do that you'll see a box appears. What you can do is you can move around with position and also offset. Offset is uh, useful for creating armors and uh, offsetting like turret positions, passenger positions, and also good for doing rotations if you decided to use it. For example, the basically rotation will actually rotate around this uh, yellow dot. As you can see, it actually pivots around that yellow dot on the rotation scales. And you can also change that course using the offsets. So I can move it over over here, and then I'll rotate it around that instead. But I would recommend using offsets for guns unless you're doing the ammunition, which is one case you can use or you don't have to. But I'd recommend using offsets for ammunition. So we're going to make a very, very simple test gun because there's no use of making a uh, really, really nice looking one for a tutorial, such as this one. So we're just going to make a very, very simple gun that no one's going to really see and care about. Anyways, so what we're going to do is... Uh, you can just use this model right here, very simple, and uh, you can also select multiple parts as a heads up. If you click on one part, hold shift and click on another part. So what you can do in F4, remove Steve, um, make sure to uh, use uh, positions for actually putting the gun in places or offsets. Do not like use other methods. Cause I've seen people use like shape boxes and stuff to do it, and it's really weird. So what I recommend doing is go to 
the part type box, which you can actually change it with a pull down tab to trapezoid, flex box, flex trapezoid, and shape box. What I mostly use is shape boxes because they allow for details, rounds, curves, and shrinking things or making things grow by just a tiny bit. That's what I usually use it for. So what we can do is if I make this go down by one and pull it back down, add a new box and put it on top. I can push to now the edit selected part on this one, it's the shape box, so it's this one, but this one right here, and I'll bring up this other little box, which we'll see the part that we were just working on here. Now, you can see that it has basically the exact same as positions, but you can actually move these around any direction you want. So you can make a round curve or make the top flash out by a little bit like that, and you can reset it by using this reset all values. So we can do is we can actually make the 2, 3, 1, and 4 come in by a little bit by the Z axis, which is what you can see right here, Z is left and right, X is side to side, and then Y, of course, is up and down. Um, so we can go, let's bring 1, 4, 2, and 3 in by, let's say, negative 0.2. And you have to use actually commas, since the diviner of this is actually German, and you can use commas instead of periods, if you're used to that. Now let's actually bring it down by 0.2 again from the Z axis, that's the Y axis, make it a little bit more small. So now this actually automatically updates as you do it. So I can actually do it in here. So let's make this a 0.4 instead. And I can actually edit it and you can see in the background that it's actually doing it automatically. So here we go, we got a little bit of a start of a gun. And uh, this is going to be adequate enough just to show you the basics of uh, toolbox. There's a lot more things you can do, such as like clone over uh, mirror selected parts, basically just putting them over like, the, the X axis being right in Y axis right here. And you can make it so it goes over to Z axis. You can rotate the whole thing by using these. Rotate selected parts, you can go like this. Or you can rotate it like that, alternatively. Uh, you can also mirror the selected parts up and down. Uh, side front to back and side to side, which this one has no use on because there's nothing going to be changing. Delete it, of course, clone it, and all the rest of them. Now, for vehicles and stuff, there are some over here that you can add propellers, add hitboxes, add seats, add wheel points, add gun points, collision points, tons of things. So you can just experiment with these things, but basics of the toolbox is what you need is right here. So after you finish your model or gun, we actually need to probably texture it because you don't want to have a pink and black gun because that's the air texture it looks like in game. It doesn't look very fun. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to offset the positions of these blocks into different text posi texture positions. Because at the moment, if you open the texture builder, you'll see in the top, top left, these guys right here, they're all in the same basically position. Now, you can actually move these around manually by just right-clicking and holding and moving them around, which would, be, which would work actually pretty well. But if this gets a really big model, it's going to be a little more difficult to do that by hand. You can also do it from here, calling a texture offsets and change it manually. But what you're going to do is we can go to the model settings options and change the texture resolution. So this is a very small model, so we won't do it that big. Let's do a 32 by 32 big texture because we're not going to require any much more. And instead of just moving them around manually, we can actually use the auto texture procession positioning uh, tool. A lot of people don't really like it, but I prefer using it because it makes things a lot more easier. And like when this is going, I can do something else. So it was only three positions, so it's going to easily texture it quickly and position them really quickly. And after that, we can see this is actually now in the right positions. And also, if you if you notice that there's another thing, if you click on something and like, like snap to it, you can also dis disable that pushing F6 if you don't like it. I prefer to take it off. <laughs> From there, now you can actually take this and export it. So we can do File, Export, as Texture File Template. Now, you need to actually do this to put it somewhere that you want to. So I'm going to put it on my desktop currently. And we call it Skin Desk Gun, it doesn't matter what you call it. You can change it wherever you want to be. And then we're going to import it. File, Import, Texture from File. Go to it, find it, and open it. It's not going to change because it's just going to be putting it on anyways. So there's two ways of texturing the model itself. You can use the in-program texture uh, painter, which is honestly pretty helpful, but it doesn't really get always the most uh, effective way of doing it. You can also use paint.net, uh, just regular paint if you really decide to, or Photoshop or GIMP, a lot of any of the texture or photo editing programs. So what we're going to do is we're going to use stick with this for the moment. Then we'll edit it in the paint on that just to show you that you can do it in both. So let's, let's make this gun like a grayish. So we can choose like right here. Make it a little bit gray. And then we can also 
use different things. You can use the kick powder from Bitmap, which means if you copy and paste something, you can just pick a part from the model. You can fill one side only, fill the whole thing up, paint just specifically parts on it, and undo it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a transparency of 50 on here and do a little decals on the side of it and uh, paint them on. And uh, then I'm going to put this on 25 and make the come down here. This is a decorative kind of thing. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to make the front 50. So I'm going to click it twice for course 25 plus 25. In the back, I'm going to put uh, a little bit lighter. And then on top, make it a little bit lighter, side a little bit lighter. And then the sides even a little bit darker. And there we go. Got a little bit of a gun now. Let's uh, make the handle a little brown. Uh, I'm going to make it a little bit darker of a color. And then I'm going to pick this eye color, uh, of an eyedropper, and pick this color and use it and reset my pinch to 255 and then just paint it on. I'm going to use actually the paint bucket tool for this one. So you just paint the whole thing on. And then I can uh, make it look a little different by putting like some more gray around it. So there is one issue with this gun though so far. You might think it looks right done or something. It's there's no ammunition for this. So I forgot to put the ammunition in, but the way you can do it is you use whatever box you want to, which I'm just going to quickly put a box in. And then I'm going to offset it a little bit so it's nothing on it, and then change the color of it. And there we go, we got another one. Let's see, I make it a little bit lighter. There we go. Uh, we're going to put, uh, put a little yellow on top of it. And then we're going to make it a little bigger using shape boxes, because it's the easiest way of doing it in this case. Bring it out by 0.3 forward and backwards, and we're going to make it so it extends to in every single direction. And then we're going to make it a little smaller, left and right, by 0.2. And now what we're going to do is we're going to select this as ammo. So under this model part thing, you can change all the types of things. You can do gun, default barrel, default scope, default scock, default grip, ammo, slide, pump, minigun barrel, lever action, revolver barrel, brick action, backpack, which I've never seen work, attachment barrel, scope, stock, and grip. Now, uh, default and attachment are actually different. Uh, default basically means when it's on the gun, like a, let's just say there's iron sights on a gun. That is considered a default scope if you want to be removed if you, if you put like a red dot on it or something. Uh, same goes for everything else. Slide and pump are different. Slide basically each time you fire something will slide back and uh, go back to its original position. Pump, you shoot, it'll pump back like a shotgun pump. Minigun barrel, obvious, spins around. Uh, lever action, of course, being like a lever action. Revolver barrel being uh, more the revolver uh, cylinder that you reload through a revolver. Brake action, like a brake action shotgun. And ammo, which is going to be what we're going to be using for this one. So we're going to offset a little bit in there. So we're going to use uh, offsets of a negative 0.5. And then we're going to bring it back by a little bit. Then add a, another 0.5 to it. Put it in there. Then push it up by a little bit. So let's point it up by uh, 0 0.9. Nine, so you can barely just see the bottom of it. So now we have a really, really low poly pistol now. We can actually put a little black dot, so you know where the bullet comes out, just because we can. That looks, that looks kind of weird, but okay. Anyways, what we can do now, we can save the model. We might, we might want to do that a while ago, but you can save as well as whatever you want to call it. So I'm going to put it on my desktop, and I'm just going to call this model test gun again, just because I don't really care. You can name whatever you want to. This may be a Colt hybrid. I don't know. Save it, and now we can actually export what we just did in here, because this is actually the in toolbox thing. So if I loaded up the texture, it would actually just remove all of this. So what we have to do is do X file export as texture file this time, not texture template file, and then we can replace what we did on before with it, and then we can confirm it over. And now basically, what will happen is if we open up what we just did before, it won't change it. But the good thing is now, if we go back on to our desktop and get to our model the texture file and open it we'll see it's actually exactly what we did before you can see this is exactly what we did so what I recommend doing for most models is if you don't want to do shadowing or you just want to look a little bit more of a pop is putting a noise effect this is what I know how to do it in paint and I don't know how to do it on most of our programs but you go to effect noise add, no, add noise so always take color saturation off unless you want your place to be a really psychedelic your model be psychedelic or something and bring your intensity on pretty far what I recommend is the lowest I would always go is 8, and the highest I ever go is 15. So we're going to go like between this, so we're going to go like around like a 12. 
and then we're going to apply it. Now we save this, and then we actually will see it automatically updates in here. We can also do it again just in case. But file, import, texture from file, and it's actually already accepted because you see right here, these pixels right here are all different. You know, before they were just all one solid picture. You can't really tell that much in this model, but in our models, it will make a big difference. So that is how you make a model. Next, we would be doing actually exporting this. All right, so now we're going to set up your workspace to actually put these models in and export them and put them in the game and set up the configurations and everything for them. So what we're going to do now is we're going to open up your browsing browser and uh, download two things from one from the Forge uh, website and the other from the Flans Mod GitHub, if you're using Flans Mod in this case. So you can click the clone and download and download zip. Put this on, actually wait, oops, sorry. Uh, you're going to click the branch and click the 1.7.10 first. Then you're going to clone and then download zip. Then you can put this on your desktop, of course. And now that shouldn't take too long, but once that's finished, you can uh, also go over here and go to download for Forge 1.7.10. Uh, I'm just going to do a random one. I'll just do 1424. I don't care. Uh, I usually stick to the lower versions because the newer versions are a little bit different. But I just doesn't really matter which one you do. So you're going to do, go to source under it and download that also. It'll give you a little ad fly, ad focus kind of uh, styled uh, please wait second thing. Please just skip ad and you can download this. So now we have both things downloaded. So we're going to go back to our desktop. Except everything we need to, except for the model. And we can make a folder, whatever you want to call it. I'm going to call this one tutorial. And we're going to open up both zip files. With the forge one, what you're going to do first is you're going to take all of the files in here and drag it into your folder, wherever you want to put it. And second, you're going to take the Flans Mod 1.7.10 source code and you're going to click only the top three folders and drag those in, not these bottom ones. After you do that, you will uh, basically need to build the workspace. The easiest way of doing this is holding shift, then right click and open PowerShell window here or using your cmd.exe and getting to the location. This is my location, Benjamin Desktop Tutorial under Users. So what you're going to do is you're going to do dot slash gradle w dot bat space set up space, oh not space, capital D comp capital W workspace space dash dash refresh dash dependencies push enter this will take a little while so when it's done I will uh, see what to do next
All right, as soon as that is now finished, we are going to do dot slash gradle w dot bat again, but space eclipse, push enter. This one should be significantly um, faster. Five seconds, exactly as I was trying to say. After that is finished, you can X out of the Windows PowerShell or CMD.exe. And now our a Gradle or MCP or workspace, whatever you want to call it, is now finished. Before you do any of this, if it gives you any issues, you got to remember you need to have JDK or Java Development Kit installed. And you're going to need to set up your Java home. That you have to find a different YouTube about because it is extremely difficult to do and sometimes I've never had luck with it myself. But as soon as you get that done, it should work. Now, the next thing we're going to need to do is actually get Eclipse. Alright, after you get Eclipse, you're going to start it up. I'm going to be using an older version because this I've been using since I ever had it. And you're going to set up the workspace by clicking the file switch workspace, other, and then actually finding what you need. So I'm going to go to my tutorial, click on Eclipse, and push OK. And push OK. It'll restart it, and as soon as it's done, you'll see a Minecraft folder right here on top. If you don't, that means you have to keep on uh, figuring out there must be an issue. When you open it, you'll see there's a couple of folders and a couple of TXTs. It's basically the exact same thing as what you see right here but it has some extra things. You're going to open the Eclipse folder and Flan, and you'll see all the packs are in there from what you downloaded before one of the other zip files. And what you can be using is you can be using these configs of uh, these guns, vehicles, planes as bases. That's what I'd recommend doing, and it can change all the values around. So what we're going to do here is we're going to go back over to our uh, tutorial folder and find the exact same place plan and then here we're going to make a new folder which is going to be our actually our package itself so let's call this again tutorial and from here let's go to the World War II pack and copy everything into the tutorial pack as soon as that's done open up your pack MC data open it up with uh, paint.net uh, paint whoops note back notepad plus plus and change this to whatever you need to be so let's just call it tutorial come on tutorial save it next out next thing you're going to do is you're going to go through every single one of these folders and delete everything you don't need well basically everything you're not going to need except for one thing that you're going to be using off as a base usually so i'm going to be keeping everything except for one gun I'm going to delete everything except for one gun. So we're going to take a, a Colt because that's very similar to the one we made. Delete everything else. Same with the grenades, classes, bullets, except for one again. So I'm going to keep the Colt. Ammo. Boxes, delete. Attachments, delete. Assets, flance mod, armor, delete them all. GUI, delete them all. Lang file. Well, I'm going the US one because I recommend you change it around or Deutschland or the Russian one. Keep whatever you need to. Delete everything else. Everything else. So we'll, actually, we'll leave a couple sounds in here. So uh, the way it sounds is up, but I'll show you up in a different tutorial. But we'll keep just the Colt sounds because we'll use those because we're going to be using it for our gun. So Colt reload and Colt shoot. Textures, blocks, delete them all. And items, we're going to do the exact same again, but I'm going to keep a Colt. And uh, the cold ammo again. Where is it? Must be blind. <laughs> Find a Luger. Not close enough, though. Alright, well, let's just search item for Colt. Okay, so that's, uh, so it's just, just called Colt. Oh, come on, wait. There you go. Colt, everything except for the Colt. And let's delete everything else. Go back. And uh, the last thing we have, the next thing we have, is uh, armor files. And armor boxes. And AA guns. So, you can see now we only have guns 
and uh, bullets. And we have icons and, and some, did some sounds. So what we're going to do now is we're going to set up the place where you actually put the model. So you're going to open up the source main Java folder and copy any of these. doesn't matter which one you do. Com, flans, mod, client, model 2, world War 2, let's do that one. Change everything except for, uh, keep everything except for the last part, which we're going to name tutorial. And it's going to add a new one. And we're going to select every single one, except for one, and delete everything. Open that up, right click it, and we change the name. And we're going to call it, you have to keep the model in there, it has to be capitalized too. So model, then we're going to call it. So we're going to call this again, we're going to call it Colt, because it looks slightly like one. So let's just call it Pistol. Open up the pistol Java, and now we're going to actually take this model that we made before, file, export as Flans Mod Model, or Flans Model Large, or it depends on what you want to do. As Java, everything, just, it's just anything you need. So if you want to do what I'm doing, it's just me Flans Model. So we're going to call this pistol, and we're going to change the, the name of the package to tutorial, and we're going to copy everything in here and select everything and paste it and save. So now our model is now actually into game now. What we're going to do now is we're going to open up the tutorial folder again, the guns folder, and open up the Colt, but we're going to change it of course to pistol .txt. Now we're going to change everything that's Colt to pistol by using control F and replace everything all. And we're going to call this uh, skin pistol. And uh, so World War II, it's going to be Tutorial Pistol. And these ones are actually going to keep us cold. So that's the one thing we're doing, we're keeping at the moment. You can change all the settings up, reload, and everything. So that gets just going to be Pistol. But actually, it's just, it's just cold again. Ammo is going to be Pistol Ammo. So we're going to go here and change this from Cold Ammo. We're going to call it Pistol Ammo. Oops. Open up that one and change everything from Colt to Pistol. Save it. And uh, we can also change the icon of it. So we're going to call this Pistol Ammo. And Pistol is going to be. Let's actually, yeah, let's change it to Pistol also. We're going to just make it all completely OG. So, Assets, Flance Mod, Textures, Items, Colt. Let's change this to Pistol. We're actually going to change that also. Pistol. And we're going to save this as something else, actually. We're going to call this Pistol Ammo. And then we're going to change the look of it. So we're going to delete it. And add ourselves a uh, generic clip of ammunition. And this is, again, paint on that. I recommend using the right colors, but for sake of tutorial and time, I'm not going to be doing that. And like I was saying before, uh, with the uh, noise, I like using it. I'm going to put a uh, 12 on this one again. And now we're going to save it, and we're going to run here. Snowy pistol and pistol ammo. So, now that's finished, we have to put the texture itself in for the model. And we're going to do that by going all the way back. And going to the source folder, the main folder, research folder, assets folder, flight spot folder, skins folder. I uh, recommend paying a shortcut to that, by the way. So we're going to open up uh, our uh, file for our um, model again. It should be for on desktop. I saw that. Put our gun in. So we're going to call this again skin pistol. And drag that in. So now our pistol texture is inside now. Now let's go give it a test. All right, so let's make our uh, new world.
And let us uh, get our pistol out. So I must have forgot to do set up the icon for it, but you can see it's a little hard to see right now, but our model is actually there. It does have a reload animation, but it does have sounds. And I shoot. So what we can do is we can actually move it up so we can actually see it a little better by using this translate all. So let's make, let's make it a negative five or something like that. I just noticed there's a mouse scale on it. That's the reason why I couldn't see it that well. Push F9 and it updates in game. We can see our pistol now. There you go. There's your, there's your pistol in game. Or your bottle of whatever you're going to be using. So after messing around with uh, putting models in and changing uh, what they do and how they work, etc., you're going to have to export this so you can actually play it in real Minecraft and put it in a package and stuff. So what you're going to do is you're going to hold Shift, right-click again, and open the GitHub PowerShell in your folder that you made. And you're going to do dot slash gradle again, w dot bat, and space build at this time. And then that's going to build your models and put them all together. And then you'll be able to change it changes your Java models into dot class files. And that's how models work for Flans Mod. So that was very quick, but uh, after that's finished, next out, go to the build file, libs, mod, id, open with, winmar, or whatever, zip, zip, or whatever you use. And now we're going to open up the com folder, flans mod, client, model, and then our tutorial folder. You see our classes now in here, but what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take this whole com folder itself out, and put it on my desktop, and we're going to tidy it up a little bit. So we're going to open here, delete the example mod, flats mod, client, model, delete everything in these all these folders except for the one that you want to use, so tutorial in this case. And we're going to take this com folder and actually put it into our package. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go to the clips, flats mod folder, take our tutorial pack and put it on our desktop. Oops, I guess I can't call it that because there's a right tutorial on my, fo my uh, desktop. Oh yeah, of course, my folder. Yes. Let's rename this uh, tutorial folder. So you remove tutorial onto desktop. This is just your mod. Well, this is actually your uh, your uh, package itself. And then we're going to take the skins that we did before and put them on here. So we can go to source, mine, resources, assets, finds mod, skins, take our skin pistol and put it in the assets. Flans mod skins folder, and you can exit out of this. And if you want to, you can also make this a zip file. So file uh, send to this is compressed zip. And we're actually going to have to. Now I'm thinking about it. Going to have to uh, put the tutorial f items itself just directly into it. So maybe you just start for regular zip file and delete the tutorial again. And uh, from here, we can change this to a jar or keep it as a zip. Doesn't matter what you want to do. So we get a jar. And now you put this into your Flansmod folder and it should work. Now there's a couple things that I did not do, but I will quickly show you now, is uh, just tidying up at the very end. You can go back into your your uh, your um, tutorial or whatever you're using your jar, go to assets, Flansmod, lang, and then change the lang file. And this is basically how you change your name of your thing. So you would say for item, be pistol, name would be pistol in this case. But you can change whatever you want to do for that. And uh, that's basically all it is. If there's anything you guys have questions about, please in the comments and I'll answer as best as I can. And that is how you export and model and get everything into Minecraft itself, everything. Uh, there might be small things that I might have left out, but if you have a question, just please message me in the, the comments and I will respond as quickly as possible. And maybe if there's enough questions of the same one, I will make another video. But that is how you... I uh, make flans my models and export them to Minecraft. Well, thanks for guys for watching, and I hope you have a good day. And uh, again, if you have any questions, please comment and uh, subscribe for more. See ya.